bold and significant cuts. The Fort Wayne Community School Board is challenging its superintendent, telling her to put together a plan addressing the district's multi-million dollar shortfall. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper tells us what those cuts might be. There will be no sacred cows. These will be uh, painful. We expect they will be painful. That's the tough reality as Fort Wayne Community Schools gets ready to address its $15 million shortfall. It's a $6 million tax revenue loss compounded by a $9 million cut from the state. That $9 million is part of Governor Daniels' $300 million cut to public education. We must now move to restructure the way we operate Fort Wayne Community Schools in a way that we have never been challenged in the past. The FWCS board wants Superintendent Dr. Wendy Robinson and her staff to come up with a comprehensive plan within 30 days. While we cut, we don't want to lose our status as an educational leader in this community. The state wants these cuts to be creative and away from the classroom, but for FWCS, the second part just doesn't appear to be possible. 90% of our budget is people. So you cut $15 million, we can look at all kinds of programs and services, but we've been doing that. FWCS believes it's put itself in a place to get ahead of this problem, but the reality is deep cuts lie ahead for the district. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15. The one area FWCS says won't be touched, full day kindergarten. Leaders say it's just too crucial to student development. As for the cuts, those should be spelled out at the end of the month.